I think as we're thinking about like the range of different types of therapies, um, obviously we're very excited about the new discoveries that happen with clinical trials and different types of targeting based on the biology. Um, what about immunotherapy? We hear a lot about that these days, but how is immunotherapy used or studied to treat ovarian cancer? So I think that this is, as you mentioned, very new and very exciting, and it's often a question that I get. And so the best way that I can explain this is that our immune system is there to help protect us from foreign things, right? Bacteria and viruses and things like that. But it's also there to recognize when something is wrong. And so our immune system helps to fight cancer. And cancer is tricky. It's smart, right? And it sends out these stop signals to our immune cells that are coming in and trying to kill those cancer cells. And it says, don't kill me. I'm not foreign, you should just let me be. And so what immunotherapy tries to do is it then tries to use our own immune system and reactivate it and say, no, actually this cancer is a foreign thing and we should go in and we should kill it. And there are lots of different ways that scientists are exploring how to use our immune system to our advantage. You may have heard of some of the, what we call immune checkpoint inhibitors. The example I always give is the Jimmy Carter drug. So pembrolizumab was the one that probably got the most um, press out there, right? When he was diagnosed with melanoma and his melanoma went to his brain and he received the pembrolizumab and he was able to get a response from that. And so it's super exciting, but this is just one way that we are trying to use our immune system. Scientists are looking at trying to use vaccines, vaccines both from a preventative standpoint, but also from a treatment standpoint. So we can use our own immune system and try to bring that immune system into where the tumor is living and then fight it off with our own body. 